Welcome to DriveWise Cars. My name's Stephen and this is our beautiful 2014 Mini Countryman Cooper 04. It's finished in midnight grey metallic. It's just had two owners from you. The mileage is 13,628 and it comes with a fully documented service history. The specification on this one is absolutely superb and includes a chilli pack, full leather interior with heated front seats, We've got media pack, which includes satellite navigation, flat load boot floor, twin panoramic sunroofs, and sun protection glass. So as we slowly make our way now down the near side or passenger side, as you can see, I'm just zooming in on those beautiful alloy wheels. As part of the chili pack, we've also got on this rear parking sensors. There's four in total. So there's no excuses for reversing into anything or anybody and we'll come now down the off side or driver's side just take a moment to pause and appreciate those beautiful clean lines and those rather gorgeous alloy wheels as I said this one has twin panoramic sunroofs and just have a look up there there we go so you've got two glass roofs the front one as you can see slides back onto the rear one and when the front one is closed they'll both tilt up for you as well and to match the midnight grey exterior paint colour I forgot to mention we've got some beautiful black mirror caps and a black roof as well and black surrounds on the front headlights so that's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside, shall we? See what we can find. Let's pop the driver's door open and check out the door card, first of all. Make sure there are no scuffs or scrapes on there, and there isn't. So as we can see, we've got front and rear electric windows, a toggle switch for the electric door mirrors, front sport seats, which is standard on the chili pack, and then you've got full leather upholstery. You can alter the height of the driver's seat by that lever there. I also forgot to mention, we've got a front centre armrest. And as part of the chili pack, we get a lovely sumptuous three sport leather steering wheel. Now I'll jump into the interior, see what else we can find. So on the left hand side of the steering wheel, we've got buttons there to alter the volume of the radio and change the station. Once you've Bluetoothed your phone up to the computer, just press the little button there once you get an incoming call. And on the right hand side of the steering wheel, you've got there buttons for cruise control as well. Sitting just above the steering wheel, we have a ref counter with a digital speedo. And rather than describe it, I'll just start the engine up. There we go. It's going through its checks. So the mileage on this one is 13,624. So with the digital speedo, yes, it does need a bit of fuel in. There we go. You've got no need to take your eye off the road to look at the central display. And with a speedo there as well, as we can see. Now this has the visual boost radio on the media pack. So the visual boost radio is the larger screen in the center. The media pack includes satellite navigation. There we go. And with the visual boost radio system, you can change all sorts of things on the car. So you can Bluetooth your phone up, you've got DAB radio. Um, it gives you vehicle information, which allows you to look at vehicle status. I particularly like that because it tells you about the tire pressure monitoring system. So as we can see, everything's in green, so everything's okay. If one of the tyres did lose pressure, you'd get a warning sound and light on the dashboard and it would tell you which tyre it was once you've accessed the system. I particularly like this as well because it tells you when you are due for a service or any work. So a vehicle inspection, it's due. And we click on brake fluid, well that's due in September next year. Go back, look at engine oil change. That's due at the same time or in 17,000 miles. A vehicle check, that's due in October 22 or in 36,000 miles. Front brake pads, 
got 28,000 miles left on those and the rear brake pads very similar 30,000 miles left on those as well particularly useful and sitting below that got the CD player and all the heating and ventilation controls with fan speed on the left temperature on the right um, wherever you want the air to be directed there and then underneath that we've got our off switches we've got the heated front seat so you've three settings there warm swimmer or burn next to that you've got front and rear fog lamps a sport button and a lever there to lock yourself in sitting underneath that we've got twin cup holders six speed manual transmission and behind that is the master control panel for the visual boost radio so if you want to change anything you've got a joystick there or a home button and I don't know if you can see but just underneath the handbrake we've also got a USB and an auxiliary port as well I'll just switch the engine off so that's the view from the driver's seat let's have a look what's going on behind the driver again we'll just pop the door open and we'll check the door card first of all to make sure that's pristine and it is and I have to say look at that leather upholstery it's completely unmarked gorgeous so coming round to the back now to access the boot on a countryman you just press the little mini button lift that up and there you go hey presto so on this one we've also got a flat load boot floor system so you've got a solid panel there which will fold into two it gives you greater depth even a secret compartment perhaps but if you want to store something that's particularly awkward this will lift out altogether and gives you more versatility and a lot more depth and you've also got the ability to fold the seats down independently of each other as we can see there so we'll just close that up come back down now the near side or passenger side again pop the door open check out the door card yep absolutely beautiful as is the upholstery from this side come now down to the front passenger door and just check out that door card beautiful as is the upholstery and the passenger's not forgotten about either because they too can alter the height of the seat so in summary we've got here a very very pretty 2014 mini countryman cooper all four finished in midnight gray metallic with black roof black mirror caps a plethora of factory fitted options and a very low mileage with full service history once I finish the video our team will come in they'll COVID secure the interior so they'll cover the steering wheel the gear stick and handbrake with protective equipment so it's all ready for you to come and inspect if you have a part exchange you might like me to value give me a call be happy to help my name's Stephen thank you for watching our video and look forward to speaking to you soon